it's Lisa here from Arcane and Stellar and I want to welcome you to my channel today for this timeless pick a card reading. I love this topic and I know a lot of you do too and I wanted to do it on my birthday as I'm filming the 18th of April. I wanted to kind of do this timeless reading of course when you watch it at any time it can be relevant to you if you're feeling drawn to one of these but it's a who has a secret crush on you so that's the pick a card topic that we're doing and I want to kind of also remind you that if you're watching this and like say you're drawn to like maybe a particular pile um, and you don't recognize who that person might be I want to tell you that there is that chance because I left it open to spirit to also invite energies uh, that will come in the few in the near future as well. So, you know, it, it may be somebody that hasn't yet, you know, entered your life, but will soon. OK, so with that being said, we're going to go into lots of details. We have I'm going to do charms. I'm going to do letters and little facts on the papers. We have a lot of different things that we're going to do in this reading. So thank you for being here. And I want to say a huge, huge thank you. I've done a lot of the community posts already on this, but a lot of you, there were, well, there were quite a few of you that actually sent me birthday gifts. And I want to say thank you so much. It, it meant a lot to me. And a lot of you really were so thoughtful with that. Teresa and January and Anastasia or Anastasia, uh, I have uh, some of the decks that you guys sent me and Catherine had sent me as well. A beautiful uh, gardening kit which I have already used <laughs> which because I'm, I'm all getting into the garden time you know and uh, yard work and all that stuff but and then also of course Alexander had sent me a game which actually I just got to finally install because I added more I guess memory to make my, my laptop so I can actually fit more games on it <laughs> so that's awesome I'm excited to play it and so just think Thank, thank you all, you know what I mean? Like for those of you that really did think of me this year, it's always a wonderful thing. And I did a very sentimental community post thanking you as well. It was very sentimental. I was all crying when I was writing it. I was like, oh, I just feel so thankful for so many of you, especially those of you that have really been sticking around for such a long time. There have been so many ups and downs throughout my life, you know, since I made this channel. And you know, especially during the down times, this channel has kept me going. You know what I mean? It was always something I looked forward to to record for you guys. And I really do hope and, you know, pray that all of you have a blessed and happy life and that maybe my words can help you, you know, in some way. So thank you for being here and let's go ahead and get started. So I want you to choose one of these groups. We have A, B, C, or D. And, uh, you know, just go with your intuition. You might even be drawn to more than one, and that's totally fine. Some of you might even listen to all of them. <laughs> it's up to you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number one, which is the A tile, this is going to be your reading. And let's get started and see who has a secret crush on you either now or even in the near future okay so i am inviting energies that will be um, present in your life in the near future as well okay so even if you don't recognize who this is and you're like what um you know what i mean it doesn't matter because again this might be a future energy coming in so we have got a few cards here i'm going to lay them out on the table here we have communicate okay we have the ace of wands We've got Skyfather, here and now, and then we've got Mountain and Bear. Ooh, okay, so the first thing I'm gonna say is actually I feel like a lot of you know this person already. Uh, I have to say, I, yeah, I really do feel like it's more likely that you actually know this person at this point in time already. So it may not be, a, I mean, maybe it'll be a future energy for some of you, but the Ace of Wands, I would expect it to happen quite quickly uh, because that's a very kind of quick moving card. Obviously, the bat, you know, shows communication. And so obviously this makes me think of somebody who you're already in communication with or somebody you know that you will be in communication with quite quickly this also could mean that the person is very associated with communication like you're going to be talking to this person you're it's not like the type of person where they kind of like you from afar or from a distance or from the background or from behind the scenes it's more like somebody you will be in direct contact with okay and the other thing i was going to say which is interesting is that we have these like 
I took the Lenormand cards to kind of to talk about personality slash looks. And then we have Skyfather. Skyfather is the emperor. Okay, so the emperor can show somebody who is, um, you know, it could show somebody who's a father, but it could also show somebody who has, um, you know, good quality leadership skills. You know what I mean? Uh, so and with, with Mountain and Bear, I want to say this person's quite strong as well. This feels like someone who's very like kind of strong and direct in the way that they behave or the way that they approach things. With Mountain, of course, you know, as a personality trait, sometimes this can show somebody who can be a little bit detached or indifferent to like, you know, prevalent emotions as an example. So they might have a serious stance or, you know what I mean? They're not swept away very easily by their feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but they will be obviously swept away by you, <laughs> no doubt. We can also see with uh, the mountain, we can see somebody who's very strong, big, and solid in nature, as well as with the bear. So I have to say this probably is somebody who's much bigger than you uh, and maybe even kind of muscular or somebody who's kind of stronger than you, as an example, as well. And this can also talk about somebody who's a bit older than you as well because of the, the emperor and the mountain because the mountain can also indicate. Uh, so we have kind of like two clues towards older than you, <laughs> okay? And uh, we also have blue or gray eyes possible, uh, possibly, especially here and there. The mountain can also signify that as well. So again, we kind of have double, you know, uh, clues on that as well. And then... I was going to say we have the bear and so again the bear can imply that maybe someone's quite strong in nature and uh, can show somebody who is very powerful uh, looking as an example but this also can show somebody who is in a high position like a leader or a boss and with the sky father there too I have to say this is somebody who has I would say a good amount of authority you know whether it's just in their own life or in their career um, it's somebody who has a strong presence you know what I mean about them it's like they kind of talk very uh, you know, kind of, it's not like they go, um, uh, you know what I mean? Like I do. <laughs> it's somebody who's like really like, you know, strong in the way that they speak. And, uh, kind of like, of course the mama, like the bear also can talk about like mama bear, uh, energy as well. Somebody who's kind of like a matriarch or whatever. Um, but yeah, we can talk about somebody who's very protective, you know what I mean? Over, you know, other people in their life, you know? And we have here and now, so your true love's already part of your life. So I have to say for some of you, you might even just be asking about, just for the heck of it, but you already know who this is and you know all that sort of thing. So I'm gonna take some little paper cards here and I'm not gonna look at them too much. I'm just gonna kind of go with what feels good. Okay. And we're gonna get a few of those. <laughs> I can see that. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm looking at some of these. Okay. I'm going to get one more here and I want that one, whatever this is. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we've got, uh, in terms of the qualities, we have contemplative. Okay. We've got gift giving intuitive, finances, daredevil, happy, sensitive, high maintenance. <laughs> okay, so high maintenance <laughs> shows up here. So with the Ace of Wands too, I think this is a person who, it's like when they feel passionate about something, they feel passionate about it. They're going to, you know, definitely let you know about it. And I don't think that they have qualms in terms of like directly addressing what they want or, or anything like that. So this doesn't feel if this, you know, I wouldn't say that this is an energy of someone who jokes around or is kind of indirect as, as well. They may be contemplative, but when they know what they want, they know what they want. Okay. So yeah, they may have high maintenance qualities, which, um, you know, I think are it's, it's kind of good sometimes, especially if someone's very low maintenance, <laughs> it can be a good balance. Uh, we have here contemplative as well. So, and again, with the sky father, the emperor energy coming through, obviously the person I think is a very, uh, you know, a thoughtful person. Like they don't just rush into everything. They will take time to responsibly think through. We have daredevil. So, you know what I mean? Like, I think there is an aspect of them that is very, you know, kind of excitable and dynamic, especially with the ace of wands. 
they have like, you know, kind of maybe daredevil impulses, but they're not stupid. Okay. That's the thing I will say. Like they're not completely stupid. Yes, they may have dare, dare, daredevil tendencies, but I don't think this is a person who would throw everything away to kind of, you know, it's not like they would do foolish things. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. And, and again, I think too, that they're ready to take a chance on the things that they want as well. They feel confident and strong in themselves as well. We also have finances. So this might be somebody who works in the financial sector, or it could be somebody that, uh, is very much, uh, you know, focused on finances. Maybe they own their own business, which can be something with the emperor. They might be the leader of their own company as an example, or, you know, uh, that type of thing, or they might take charge that way. Um, I would say that they're financially savvy in some way or another. We also have intuitive. So again, we see somebody, I like that Ace of Wands because I find the Ace of Wands to be very intuitive. It's sort of like somebody who feels that gut feeling and they're just like, I got to do it. I have this fire. I have this desire and I'm doing it. And, and then it turns out to be a good thing. You know what I mean? So I would say that fire is very intuitive. It's just intuitive towards action. You know what I mean? It's not so much necessarily picking up on other people's feelings or other such things like that. And I'm just speaking as a fire sign myself. I have a lot of fire in my chart. Um, cause I'm a Leo rising with Aries, Sun, Moon, Mercury, and Venus. <laughs> so I've got the lots of fire anyway. But the point is, is that, you know, we tend to, us fire signs tend to get like that kind of fire in our, you know, in our, in our body. And then we were like, I got to do this thing. You know what I mean? I got to take this action. I got to go, I got to turn right here or I got to do this. And so very action oriented terms in terms of intuitive. And then we have happy and sensitive. So sensitive, this person could be quite actually a sensitive person. They may not act like it with the mountain bear and emperor, but I guess spirit wants you to know, Hey, even if they act like they're the strong as a rock, you know what I mean? It's not, then that's not always the case. You know what I mean? It could be that they have a really soft, tender side inside of them, um, which is actually often true, at least in my observations over my years on this earth, um, that oftentimes the strongest people people uh, tend to be some of the most tender when you start to really talk to them and get to know them. So yeah, anyways, and then we have happy. So like I said, I think this person's a very joyful person. I think that they're generally happy. This doesn't seem like an unhealthy person by any means, actually. This seems like somebody very nice and uh, kind hearted. Like, yeah, I have nothing negative to say here. Uh, sometimes, you know, of course of these things, we might see somebody kind of, you know, sus as my daughter would say. Um, no, I don't think so. I think here we have a very nice, healthy individual. So let's get some letters. See, maybe if we can get some, I don't know, initials, clues. We'll just see what comes through. Do -do. And I'll just get two more. Where's the other one I want? Okay, there we go. I don't even know what I took. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, we've got a lot of E's. E, E, <laughs> E, <laughs> E, E, E. We have A, L, I, I. It's like that Tori Amos song, uh, she has one that's like, I, <laughs> I love that song. Okay. Let's see. W. O. Let me make sure you can see these. Okay. I'm going to put them over here. Okay. The final ones. Okay. So these are the letters that we have. Okay. That you can see right over here. So we have a lot of, we have a lot of vowels, <laughs> but of course these can spell initials or maybe something here that, you know, sticks out. We have like law as an example. So maybe they work in a law firm or in law. Um, we actually have the word lawyer here, in fact. So maybe they're a lawyer. Um, we also have, um, let's see, we have, whoa, we have R as well. We have yay. <laughs> So yeah, those are the, the letters that we have. I'm just going to leave that. And of course, I love it when you guys in the comments come with what you see, because a lot of us, including myself, are not always the best at picking out every word. And some of you are just stinking good at it. So you know what I mean? It's nice <laughs> when you come through. Ooh, I think this person's had paranormal experiences actually here with the ghost. I actually don't feel, cause I did not pick up any ghosting energy actually in this at all by any means. So I have a good feeling with the intuitive. They, this person may actually uh, have like kind of spiritual tendencies. Like they have had maybe experiences with supernatural or something like that um, as well. 
And we've got here this like this constellation and it's kind of got like the moon imagery there as well. So again, it could be somebody who likes astrology um, or something like that or the sky or astronomy. We also have, ooh, interesting. This is like a picture frame, but it's empty. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. <clears throat> ooh, so this is interesting. I kind of feel like this might be a sign that some of you don't yet know this person. So maybe for some of you, this really will be somebody who comes in uh, for you, okay? Just for a select few of you, especially those of you that are watching that are like not resonating like as if this is anyone in your life. We also have the cat here. So the cat to me represents independence, you know, uh, type of thing. And, and same with mermaids, mermaids. So we see like kind of independent vibes. Uh, and then we have the seashell as well. And with a mermaid in the seashell, we might see somebody who really loves the beach or the sea or boating or things of that nature. And we also have Gemini energy as well. So we have Aries energy, Gemini energy, we have fire energy. So I think uh, we can see somebody who's quite a good communicator, especially with Gemini, you know, obviously it's ruled by Mercury. And then we've got this uh, clothing hanger, okay? so. Interesting. This person might be, I, you know what came to my mind when I first saw that? And this is kind of silly. <laughs> I know it's going to sound silly, but it's just what my intuition is telling me. But you know, like in the old days, or I don't know if you can do it now in the cars, probably not, but you used to be able to take like a clothing hanger and like get in the car to unlock it. I feel like this is a person who knows how to get out of any situation. Like they have, uh, you know, those handyman skills or those handy person skills that can like really get you out of the jam that's just that's what i'm getting with that uh specifically of course this may also talk about the person being quite organized as well but yeah so that's what i'm seeing for those of you that chose group number one i really 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 hope that you like this reading and it was helpful for you insightful and i thank you so much for being here and especially like i said thank you to all of you that did go on my wish list this year for my birthday and got me something because it really meant a lot to me and uh it just means a lot, like honestly, because I honestly, even though I have, a, you know, family and stuff like that, some of, some of you act more like you care about me more than my own family. So it's always a blessing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you again in the, in the future on this channel. Okay. Take care and lots of love. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number two, which is the letter B, this is going to be a reading. So let's find out who has a secret crush on you, either right now or again, this might be someone who comes in in the near future, especially. So keep that in mind, even if because even if you don't recognize who the person is right now, um, this could be because they are an energy that will enter your life rather quickly. I would say within the next two months or so. Okay, that's kind of what my intentions were as I did the reading. So what have we got here? We've got, ooh, okay. <laughs> We've got secret. Okay, right off the bat. We're gonna do all kinds of fun things, guys. We're gonna do, um, you know, like Scrabble, Scrabble letters. We're gonna do charms and everything else. We've got the High Priestess, whoa, okay. So this is a <laughs> significant, Two of Cups. Wow, okay. We also have Past Life Love, okay. Let me see here, we've got Letter, Ship, and Stars. Wow, 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 wow. What can I say here? This is a, a very spiritual kind of connection. I'm going to say right off the bat. To me, uh, the high priestess is, is a big signifier for that. It can feel like something that has brought the two of you together. I almost feel like you might be on some level even an unlikely pair. Or there might be something about it that it's like... It's almost like fate brought the two of you together. Like you would have never met under any other circumstance. I know like, okay, like as an example, like with my husband and I, um, you know, we met when we were young and we were like met online and we were in totally different countries. Um, you know what I mean? And it was just like, it just all like the stars aligned for us to meet. And that, that's kind of the energy I'm getting uh, here. Okay. So with the secret card, of course, this might mean that this person is, their feelings are a secret to you literally. Okay. I wanted to, where did I put that? I'm looking for the kite book because I just had I swear. Oh, there it is. Okay. I wanted to kind of look that up because it's the, it's a raven. So of course, ravens could be significant in some way. Of course, you know, there's that possibility. Um, but yeah, the raven, 
It says here that card represents hidden secrets, the gathering of knowledge, and the spreading of rumors. <laughs> okay, it can uh, urge you to discover the truth behind hidden secrets. Mm, okay, and so again, this may indicate actually that the person, maybe you've heard rumors about this person liking you, or perhaps they may like you in secret. Um, the other thing that I could say is that this could be like a secret relationship as well um, between the two of you. Like maybe you know that you have a secret kind of uh, friend or, um, you know, something like that. But it, we have also the high priestess, but, and I mentioned that it's a very spiritual kind of card as well. And it's very mysterious. In fact, when I'm reading, when I do personal readings and I ask something and like the high priestess comes out, it's often that there's some sort of cloud over the information, some sort of fog, like as if spirit doesn't want me to know everything about it, um, which there are numerous reasons as to why, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times people can mess with their future or spirit doesn't feel like it needs to be touched at this time. You know, there can be reasons as to why, but this tells me, like I said, that there is some something kind of hidden about this. Or again, maybe I, the Two of Cups makes me feel as if this might be mutual. Um, okay, so even if this person is not yet revealed to you in this life, you know, maybe you don't know who they are yet. You will be and you will feel the same. Okay, especially for those of you that have not met this person yet. I feel like this will be somebody that you will feel, you know, strongly about. The Two of Cups can show somebody obviously that we're very emotionally bonded toward and uh, where we're feeling that good connection. And so I kind of feel here with past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection is that there's just this instant sort of bond, you know what I mean? That really develops uh, between you and the secret admirer. So like I said, for some of you, this person may be in your life and you know who this is, but for some of you, this may be an energy that will come in the near future. Now, what's interesting is that we have the letter, the ship and the stars. I'm telling you, this feels long distance, okay? I'm just saying it. It, it, it feels like it could be somebody that you know at a distance uh, because of that, you know, because letter and ship, it's like overseas communication. Stars could be like somebody, you know, it, again, stars can actually represent internet. So we have like all these sort of key factors to maybe someone foreign or abroad or something like that. And for some of you, this could be somebody that you've had a past with uh, as well. And perhaps it's like they always just kept their feelings a secret as an example, you know what I'm saying? But the letter here can talk about somebody that you've just been writing with, like pen pals or, you know, a social media connection. But also this can talk about somebody who is a good communicator, who likes to write as an example as well. And we can talk about like kind of like love letters or, uh, you know, internet relationships. Like I said, that's all kind of the part of the letter in terms of uh, relationship. And then, of course, with the ship here, we can talk about traveling far away, someone at a distance, of course, as I already mentioned. And physically, it can indicate like olive skin or tan skin or uh, you know, that sort of thing, like maybe not the lightest skin. And then of course we have brown hair perhaps, or exotic kind of features or different than you as an example as well. And with the stars, of course, to me, that can represent the internet again, as I mentioned, but also somebody who's like, you know, it can't talk about somebody well-known or popular or somebody who's a guide or a counselor, somebody who's a life coach or has that sort of thing. And maybe they've even just had that impact on you. You know what I mean? Where they've been helpful to you or you've been helpful to them, um, that sort of thing. We also can talk about web designer or somebody who works in the internet as an example as well. Uh, or like, you know, cause it could even be like it as an example too. Um, but yeah, so, so perfectionist perhaps as well qualities, but yeah, that's what I'm getting right off the bat. Let's get some, uh, papers here. So I have these little papers that I've made. I'm going to get right into them and see what comes through. I want that one and I want that one, this one I know I need, and then I need both of these, I think, actually. Okay. I'm gonna get two more. Oh my goodness, I see the one I want. <laughs> I need to get it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's see, we've got, okay, we've got, oh, okay. We have musician, okay, so this could be somebody who is a musician or plays an instrument or really likes music, We, but I kind of feel like musician. Uh, we have movie lover as well, so this might be somebody who's really into movies, entertainment, 
uh, you know what I mean, that, that sort of thing. Even with musician and movie lover, it gets me somebody who's like very into entertainment, <laughs> you know what I mean, in general. We have health conscious. Okay, so this could be somebody who's very healthy, who is focused on their health as an example as well. They might try to, um, you know, watch their diet or they might be focused on it. Like, for instance, if it, as an example, this could be like somebody who, for instance, has like a lactose intolerance. So they're very like, you know, conscious of that or they could have like a gluten issues. And so they're very conscious of that. Okay, so they could be very health conscious on something, uh, maybe vegetarian or, you know, a specific diet or or whatever. And then we have likes history. And so this may be somebody who really likes history, obviously. I think it's pretty, uh, you know, <laughs> pretty uh, explanatory. And then we have intuitive as well. So this could be somebody who's very intuitive. I feel like actually that definitely makes sense there. I also feel like you guys will have an intuitive connection. Like you just get each other. You know what I mean? And then we have rebellious. So this person can have rebellious tendencies, be a little bit of a, you know, person who doesn't always follow the rules as an example, um, who, you know, like, you know, doesn't always follow the, all the trends as well. Okay. And then we have extroverted. So I would say actually, and, and with the two of cups, I think that makes sense. I think this person is able to really emotionally connect to a lot of people. They're not like a, a hermit. They're very much a person who can talk well to other people. They have an extroverted kind of personality. And then we have educated. Okay, so this person could have a higher education as well or even work in education. But I think, you know, more likely it's probably somebody who's just educated and um, has a degree of some kind. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting that we had two books come out. So we have uh, Treasure Island and we have Alice's uh, Adventures in Wonderland. Okay. So two books. <laughs> so you guys actually might find yourself connecting over books or stories or again, maybe like, uh, you know, this is a person who really likes to read, watch movies. You know what I mean? Like that sort of person who just likes everything. Um, of course, with Treasure Island and it, it Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, we think of like places that are far away that we travel to. So again, I have to say this person's probably at a distance um, for sure. Okay. And then we have the cats as well. So we can see, I think at least for me, I see like somebody very independent, maybe a bit rebellious. I find cats to be kind of a, have a rebellious nature more so than like dogs as an example. Um, and then we have, um, these, uh, constellations. So what's interesting here is that this could indicate again, that you guys, uh, you know, it's like you can only look at the sky, even with the stars, uh, you know what I mean? And see each other as an example. Again, it kind of reminds me of that. And then, uh, the other thing I was going to say, of course, they might like astronomy or astrology or something like that. Again, you might make, like be quite like um, c c uh, compatible uh, is what I was going to say. And then we have ooh, this high heel shoe. Ooh, nice. They might be well dressed or like clothes a lot because we have the high heeled shoe. And then we have this uh, um, uh, clothes hanger. So we kind of see clothing here. So maybe well dressed. And of course we have Libra here. So generally Libra, what ruled by Venus, likes nice things. And think about Ariel as well, liking nice things, liking collecting things. So this could be somebody who collects something as well. They might like fine shoes or things like that. Nice clothes could be organized. Oops, I dropped one. I'm going to get some letters just to see if we get some name and I'll have you guys especially for those of you that are really good at like finding the words definitely leave a comment down below because you help so many of us who are not as good at that <laughs> okay let's oops let me put this back down right here so let's see we've got R we've got P we have another R A U a L X a blank tile N R Y E E J and A Okay, so we've got like quite a few possibilities here. Okay, we've got 
Oof, we have R, we have Pry, we also have Prey, we have Ray, Ran, J, Jax, Lux, mm, Lucy, if you take uh, the blank tile. But yeah, we have quite a few different letters there. So I will let you guys see if you see any anything in particular. Oh, let me move them over a little bit because I can see that you can't see all of them. We have a J there. See, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So then you can see them all. Sorry about that. Yeah, so definitely let us know in the comments below if you see any particular uh, names or words even too because that might be important. Maybe it's like a country or, you know, like we have PR, Puerto Rico as an example, or we have, you know what I mean, possibilities maybe even for states like as an example, like Alaska or, um, you know what I mean, okay? So maybe even UK with this. But anyway, I wish you all the very, very best. Take care of yourselves. Thank you once again for all of you that did send birthday gifts off my wish list and like packages to me for my birthday. That was, a, it really meant a lot to me. And I've got so many beautiful decks to work with now, some more of them. So I appreciate that a lot. And especially the gardening kit from Catherine was amazing. <laughs> Cause I was like, I'm all in about my yard and gardening right now. But you guys really lift my spirits. Even just leaving a comment means a lot. And so thank you guys for being here. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number three, which is C, this is your reading. So let us find out all about your secret, like crush, the person who has a secret crush on you. I will mention, like I did in the intro, just in case you didn't listen, uh, this could also be a future energy, okay? So even if you don't recognize who this person is, it might be somebody coming in. Uh, I kind of like thought maybe the next two months uh, maximum. So I would say that they would come in quite quickly. We've got the chameleon. <laughs> so we have disguise here. And then we've got the king of swords as well. So let's get these cards out on the table. We've got the seven of swords. Okay, so we definitely have a sneaky sneaky energy okay we've also got retreat okay time alone or in nature will help you recharge and we've got the fox and the stork this person that has a crush on you i am going to tell you this is a person who is very much hiding their feelings <laughs> okay this is pretty clear to me now right off the bat okay we have the chameleon i'm gonna look at the card obviously the chameleon says disguise on it so clearly they probably where is it oh right here so yeah this card represents disguise or facade it is the idea of blending in one social landscape to fit in but also in order to acclimate to new surroundings the natural camouflage of the chameleon might be interpreted as deceptive or duplicitous in one reading but it may also signify the need to protect oneself by blending in and becoming invisible this card could also symbolize a wallflower who feels invisible or a social butterfly who can adapt and thrive in any social situation I feel here with the Seven of Swords, we're probably getting someone who is a little bit, um, maybe, maybe for some of you, this person just hasn't yet come into your life or you're not really aware of them yet. But I feel like for some of you, this might be somebody who's actually kind of hiding their feelings or hiding, you know, these sorts of intentions. With the King of Swords, we can see somebody who's very logical, very uh, direct, but kind of, I will say that sometimes the King of Swords can come off at least in the tarot, and I wouldn't say this is always, we have Gemini here too, by the way, and air, air is very, very strong in this reading actually. Uh, so we have somebody maybe who can kind of come off a little bit cold, or there may have actually been a retreat of some kind. With the fox here, uh, we also can see somebody a bit tricky. <laughs> so it can show somebody who is a, a bit, um, you know, witty, charming, but also kind of crafty, sly kind of personality traits as well. This can talk about somebody who is petite to average in height, and we can see hair that is reddish as an example. Um, we can talk about somebody who's very fit and in shape, or even dainty or light-footed in nature as well. 
So this could be somebody who's good at dancing or kind of like that type of energy. But yeah, so <laughs> the seven of swords makes me feel like this might be somebody who's ghosted you actually. I feel like for some of you, and I know that some of you might be frustrated to hear that because you're like, oh yeah, I know who this jerk is. Ugh. And you know, I'm right there with you. Uh, on that energy because it's not like I'm you know wanting <laughs> to bring through anything you don't like but I do feel like this is somebody who you know definitely uh, is not showing up <laughs> you know uh, unlike the first two uh, groups especially the first one was very direct this one's very indirect uh, so we can talk about somebody with a stork, somebody tall, slender, with long legs. We can talk about somebody refined and sophisticated, graceful. So that's really interesting about the Seven of Swords and the fox and the stork because we all see, and even with the chameleon, we see somebody who's very adaptable, okay? Somebody who's very light on their feet as an example as well. And of course, these qualities can come into the personality too, obviously. Um, ooh. It might be that somebody is really trying to figure out how to make a change with you as well. This might be somebody who is having a little bit of a hard time expressing themselves. Uh, I kind of feel like this might be a person who uh, can show a little bit of a dual side of themselves. You know, like it's almost like somebody who gives hot and cold energy. Maybe they're very flirtatious one day, very cold the next, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, so let's get some uh, traits here. And we're going to get them on. Oh, interesting. We have no tattoos. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, let's just see what comes through here. A red hair came out again. Some of you, this person really does have reddish hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then let's see here. I want that one. And I'm going to get one more actually for you guys. I don't want that. Ooh, ooh, okay. So we have unique voice, okay? So unique voice, uh, that's funny because of the air qualities that are coming through. And then we have Gemini as well, which is ruled by Mercury. It uh, represents the voice and communication. So this person might have a very unique voice, a very different sounding voice as well. Like, so maybe it's very deep or very high or it has a certain accent or, you know what I mean? There's something that stands out and is unique about the voice. Um, we also have, <laughs> we have relaxed. Okay. So I kind of feel here like this person may not be, uh, the type of person to be very active towards outcomes. Um, that can be kind of frustrating. It might be somebody who's not exactly the type to be like, I, like you said, this is a total opposite of group number one. Like group number one was all like, I'm direct. I'll tell you what's up. This is not, <laughs> this is a person who's probably like chill about everything. Like they're not like, eh, they're not going to make a big fuss about something. And that can be, like I said, maybe a bit frustrating, you know, if you were hoping for them to make a move, they might be kind of like very hesitant as an example, or they do. And then they sort of disappear or, you know, that sort of energy. We also have finances. So this person could work in finances in some way. They might work at a bank or somehow in financial, you know, situations. This person could also be very interested in finances as well. We have nearby. So that's why uh, that's interesting because also Mercury can represent short trips, short distances. So I would say this person's not too far from where you're at. So unlike group number two, as an example, that was maybe overseas even or far away, this is not, okay? So this person's actually probably someone you've seen before. They're nearby you. They're not far away. They're a car's drive away, okay? Um, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't say any farther than a few hours by car. We also have that red hair, you know, and we have has a temper. So this, <laughs> they might have a little bit of a temper. I not everyone, by the way, I know red hair came through kind of twice with the fox in the um, discard too. So I, I want to say that may not be for everyone, obviously, but for some of you, that's like a big indicator. You're like, oh my God, I know who this is. <laughs> okay. Has a temper so that, yeah, it could be somebody who, you know, Maybe they swear a lot or they get mad about things, you know, very easily. We have high energy, which is interesting because we have relaxed and high energy. But I feel like those dynamics are a bit different. I think they're high energy in terms of like 
you know, perhaps moving around a lot. They're very kind of a busy, a busy person. As an example, they might, you know, have a lot of tasks that they do. They might be quite busy in that way. And they may even retreat because they get too busy as well. That might be for some of you, uh, specifically where it's like, they just get busy. They have all this energy going everywhere, but like maybe they're not making always the most time for you. Um, again, that could be a red flag for some of you. Urban lifestyle. So I would say this person probably lives in an urban setting, like a city setting as an example as well, or like, you know, apartment or in the city or in the town. Um, not like a country person for sure. We also have no tattoos. So that's, <laughs> I, I wonder if that might be, you know, maybe it's a good sign for some of you that, that you know who this is. They don't maybe have a lot of tattoos or any tattoos at all. And then we've got quality time. So <sighs> I would say, I don't know. I feel like this has two different things. For some of you, it might be like you could like this person, but you need more quality time and maybe they're not able to give it. Or maybe it's like they're trying to wait till they have more quality time with you to say something as well. And actually, I will say this person may find quality time to be sitting and talking and that sort of thing. And it, I, 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 that's what I would say. Okay, so we've got these and I'm going to go ahead and put them up a little bit because we're going to get some letters. And the Scrabble letters hopefully might give us some more clues. And of course, for those of you that are good at letters and putting words together and names, definitely help us out in the comments because <laughs> some of you are amazing. Okay, so we've got R, I, T, O, O, we have two O's, we have G, we have N, I, we have M, R, I, N. So these are the letters that we've got Oh wow, I even took an even amount. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was totally like not even paying attention. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of possibilities. We have no as an example. We have on, we have go. We've got Hmm. I'm looking. <laughs> Min, which should be like minute as well. I'm gonna take some charms too and see what comes through. Okay, so we've got Nala here, which to me represents like maybe friendship or support. Maybe some of you have been a friend to this person or they've been a friend to you or you have some sort of friendship going on. Um, perhaps we also have the B here. So this could mean that the person's very much a busy bee, like, and that might make sense of that high energy and even the stork, they might be moving around a lot, doing a lot of things. Maybe they've recently traveled. We have also the cross here. This person could have, uh, in the angel, I kind of feel like this person might be, um, religious possibly. Uh, this could be somebody who's like a Christian, uh, particularly like they might wear a cross or something like that as well, um, or kind of have some sort of symbology in that, uh, that direction. Not for all of you, but maybe for some of you. Uh, I could feel like, I would say that this person, regardless, has some sort of spiritual or religious belief, maybe, that they associate themselves with. I also feel here that the cross can show um, burdens and problems, you know, crosses that we bear. So it could be somebody who has a lot of responsibilities as well. We've got the leaf here, which makes me think, in this case, that this person's a little bit hard to catch. It reminds me of a leaf falling down on the ground. And yeah, and even the butterfly, it's almost like this person's a bit elusive, I have to say. And we have uh, the elephant, which could show a strong dedication to family as well. Um, they also might be loyal to their workplace as well. 
kind of like a camaraderie amongst their team, you know, class, teammates, classmates, whatever. <laughs> I said classmates almost, but like teammates or like colleagues or whatever. And then we have also I will, which is very interesting because this almost feels like the person who's given you some sort of indicator that they'll make a move, but maybe they haven't. Or, um, or maybe for some of you, this might be somebody who will make the move when they're ready. Okay, maybe they're kind of quiet right now, but they will actually make a move on you when they're ready. And maybe it's just because they have a lot going on or something like that. You know what I mean? This might be somebody who will come towards you, but you just got to give them a little bit of time, which I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying that that might be what's required to get them, you know, like if they're going to, uh, that sort of thing. You do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Like, I definitely would say that this energy is a little bit more maybe a little bit more difficult. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily toxic for all of you or anything like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far because for some of you, it might be just somebody who has reasons for why they're behaving the way they're behaving. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it might not be that bad. It might not be sinister. Um, but yeah, you know, I think this might be a mixed bag for some of you. Some of you might know who this is and you're like, yeah, I'm sick of this person. Yeah, no way. <laughs> and then for others of you, you might, you know, it might be somebody coming into your life or who's just come and they just haven't exactly made that move yet. You know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be a bad thing necessarily. But anyway, those are the qualities that I'm getting. And I really do hope it helped you uh, identify who this is. And uh, let me know in the comments below, you know, what you thought. Again, I'd love to hear about it. And uh, thank you again to all of you that really did send me birthday gifts for my birthday. That was amazing. I had some lovely decks to use here because of you guys. All of these were birthday gifts. So I appreciate it a lot. It's so much fun. Anyway, I wish you the very best. Take care of yourself. Lots of love. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, my friends. Let's get started on group number four. You guys, you chose the letter D. Okay, so let's get started and see what's going on here. Who has a secret crush on you? And by the way, just mentioning, this may be somebody that pops up in the near future or, you know, could be already present. So I did kind of keep open energy for like, you know, near future, like next two months maximum. Ooh, okay, we definitely have somebody. <laughs> I'm seeing some I'm seeing some qualities coming through in these cards. Whoa, okay, interesting. So we have the universe here. We have a B two different times. Wow, okay, chemistry, awakening. We've also got the ring and the gentleman. Wow. So this is a very loyal person. I'm just going to start off right off the bat. This is somebody who's a very loyal type of person. Uh, once they are dedicated to something, I feel like that they are very dedicated to it. Okay. So this actually might be somebody who is a strong provider in, in, in life. So it kind of feels like someone who's a very uh, diligent person. They may have, I have to say this person's probably very committed to their, toward their career. Okay. So, cause we have a lot of energy towards work life. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles, the Work card, the Provide card, the Universe. These are all very like uh, somebody very driven towards success, okay, and towards uh, providing in general. Uh, let's see here. So the Work card, obviously, you may know this person through work, or again, they may be very much focused on their work. Their work could also involve with the B uh, in the Universe, maybe some sort of public uh, public role. You know what I mean? Like they might have a role in the public or, you know, be well known in their profession as well. But obviously the work card here represents hard work, focus, industry. And uh, while the ant card focuses on collaboration to achieve a goal, the B card focuses on the goal itself. It represents effort towards a pleasant outcome or long overdue reward. This card tells us that the goal that we seek is within our reach if we persist. And so I do feel like this is a person who does persist. Like they are very much focused on that, like I said, that providing energy, like providing uh, for family or for their future. Like this is definitely somebody who's very much focused on that. And Obviously, we have, with provide, we have the Taurus symbol. So I, I have to say that probably this person has some kind of strong Taurus placement, uh, whether it's, you know, you know, their sun, moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, you know, ascendant. I would say that there has to be probably most likely to be some sort of Taurus placement. And we can talk about somebody who's very prosperous with the provide card as well. Somebody who has a lot to give, a lot to offer. 
and you know all that sort of thing we also see the card the gentleman down here so this is probably masculine energy for a lot of you and uh, we have chemistry so the attraction you feel is mutual so this is actually somebody that you will like back okay so even if they're not present in your life this is somebody where the feelings could be mutual uh, and what's interesting as well is we have awakening so both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations so the interesting thing about I think that is that it's probably going to show that the both of you will have like you know, you'll go through spiritual uh, kind of uh, transformations together. You know what I mean? Like you both kind of have that impact on each other. With the ring here, we can talk about somebody who's very loyal, very dependable, very responsible and committed. We can also talk about somebody who's uh, a little bit rounder in by, uh, you know, figure as an example. We can talk about, uh, you know, having like a round bottom <laughs> as well. <laughs> so literal. And then of course, light coloring as well. Uh, those are some of the attributes possibly, but I think more so this could talk about, this could talk about a future partner or somebody that could really want to marry you. Even like, this is the type of thing where I think this person's like quite serious <laughs> in their feelings. Like they don't joke around. They're not playing. Um, unlike the previous, I think energy of group number three that kind of felt a little bit off. This does not feel that way. This feels very like I get that song in my head, uh, uh, set on you. I got my mind set on you. Got my mind set on by George Harrison. Okay. But I don't feel like, I think it's like, uh, I'm just going to take some attributes here. We'll see. I'll just gonna see what's going on here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, let me just get a few more up here. Let's see what I Okay, I'm going to take one more. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, <laughs> that's funny. The second house, which is, you know, often with Taurus, it's, it's history. And we've got history likes history. <laughs> funny. Okay, so we've got somebody who likes history. We've got somebody that has a humble personality. They're not stuck up. They're not, um, you know, the type of person that, you know, feels like, a big shot or a hot shot okay we do have average wealth here so I will tell you not for all of you this may not be somebody extremely prosperous but they might you know be average but they have you know a good thing going you know what I mean like maybe they're not like you know richy rich or whatever which is a child never mind um, but you know, this is the first rich it was from my kid my childhood <laughs> but, you know what I mean okay richy rich when he grows up but uh it's like maybe somebody who has you know what I mean they, they can provide they're good they have you know what it takes and stuff like that they have you know a decent you know job and that sort of thing like you know what I mean that type of thing we also have an active lifestyle, so they might like, you know, have a very active lifestyle. They might work out, you know, every day at the gym, or they might go on walks every day, or they might like hiking every weekend. But I would say that they have a more active lifestyle. Um, we also have patient, and that totally comes across here. Uh, Tauruses tend to be pretty patient. Well, you know, sometimes Taurus suns, if they have a lot of stuff in Aries, which is very common, uh, you know, I mean, just because the signs are obviously closed, Mercury and Venus can never be too far from the sun. So, you know what I mean? It is a common combo. <laughs> uh, then maybe not as patient. It depends. You know what I mean? Because even myself, I have a Taurus Mars and I'm pretty patient. Um, but anyway, even if I have all the Aries stuff. But yeah, this person has a patient personality. We also have urban lifestyle. So they may live in a city or in an urban area or I may have grown up in an urban area. We have tough childhood as well. So this could be somebody who had a little bit of a rougher childhood, which may make them um, be that person who's very much focused on getting ahead in life. You know what I mean? Like trying to make their way in life uh, as well. And of course, obviously, you know, with people that have tough childhoods, I think there are like are two versions of what can happen. You know, some people will just repeat the cycles and then other people will break out of them. This is a person who breaks out of it. Okay. They um, kind of take those things and they say, okay, I've learned that lesson and I'm not repeating it. <laughs> you know what I mean? From my parents or, you know, who I was raised by or whatever happened. 
And then we have, of course, the words of affirmation. So this might be a person who really uh, has that love language, you know, of affirmation. Uh, words of affirmation. And then we have physical affection as well, which makes sense because of course Taurus is a very sensual physical sign. It's an earth sign. It's ruled by Venus. So again, touch is very important. Nice things, you know, this sort of physical, uh, you know, stuff going on. We also have mysterious. So that's interesting. Some of you, this might be a bit mysterious. I kind of feel like for some of you, this is somebody that will come into your life soon. I feel like for some of you, you don't know this person yet. Um, so actually for this particular group, I have a good feeling for some of like for a good portion, like 80% of you or so, uh, is what comes to my mind that you actually don't know this person yet. Okay. Um, could be somebody totally new. We also have foreign and far away. So that's interesting as well. Um, we also have nomadic lifestyle. So this might be somebody who's lived in foreign countries or visited foreign countries, or they might be from far away. They may have moved a lot as well. For some of you, for some of you, this person actually may have grown up in a military family that moved a lot as well. And maybe it was kind of tough on them. They really just want to settle down in life. Like maybe they didn't, they're the type of people who didn't really think that was, you know, good for them. Uh, you know, everyone handles that kind of stuff differently. Um, I moved around a lot and it didn't bug me none, but you know, I mean, for some people that can be really bothersome for them, you know, and, uh, Anyway, so those are the type of qualities that I get there. I'm going to kind of shove these off to the side so we can look at some letters. So I appreciate all of you who take the time to kind of look at these and let me know and let others know in the comments like what letters you're seeing because sometimes I'm not the best at it. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. We've got I, A, we've got C, N, we've got A, a, two A's, U and Y, O, I, L, C, A, E. We have a lot of C's. What the heck? Okay, let's see. We've got L and we've got Y. Okay, so I'm going to leave them there. And let's see. If right away I can just see anything. I see... Oops, I see upside down. I see clay. I see... Alley. Annie, I see, what else do I see, can, Cal, California maybe, um, North Carolina, I see New York for some of you, Colorado, for some of you. I just said I'm looking at the, the states that I see possibly. Maybe even, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that because I'm not gonna sit here and obviously and like try to look at all of them. See, like I said, <laughs> I appreciate you guys leave comments because sometimes I'm not the best at these. <laughs> And some of you are so amazing. Okay, we're gonna take them like this. Okay, we've got, oh my goodness gracious, we've got this heart, it got behind the button. Woof. Okay, so we've got the eye. Ooh, okay, this person might have a keen eye. Okay, and I think this person will have, definitely have an eye for you uh, right away. I think you'll really strike them, because look at that, it's like they see you and bam, they're hit like Cupid's arrow, <laughs> right? And then we've got little women. So for some of you, it could be somebody with a lot of siblings or a lot of sisters. It could be some, because of course, Little Women's about, you know, uh, Joe March and all of her sisters. And so it could be somebody with like a large family or a lot of siblings. Uh, we could also see 
again, tough childhood things because, of course, with Joe, um, her, you know, her father's gone a lot at war and stuff like that, too. Um, kind of makes me wonder about the military side of things, uh, if some of, of them grew up like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, little women, of course, could play a role somehow. We've also got the sign of Aquarius as well. So that's interesting, Aquarius and Taurus, you know what I mean? Because those are fixed signs. So again, very stable, kind of reliable. And then we have the cross here. And so this could person, the cross could show somebody who is religious or has some sort of spiritual belief. They could wear a cross. Or again, this can talk about somebody who takes on a lot of burdens as well. We also have music here. So again, music might be something that really connects you. You might have similar music tastes. This person may like music a lot um, as well. And then we have the cactus, which says you can survive anything. So again, this is a survivor. Okay, and uh, we've got the wing here as well. So this person actually, um, I feel like this could indicate that, you know, this person, mm, again, maybe spiritual beliefs because this could be like an angel wing as an example. So there could be some sort of spiritual religious beliefs. Uh, but as well, this could talk about somebody who overcomes. I think of a, you know, that sort of flying over, you know what I mean? And far away, maybe traveling as well. Maybe it's lived overseas or something like that too. So... Wow, you guys, I really, 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 really hope you like this reading. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. Uh, do you know who this is? Uh, they, like I said, they may be coming into your life, you know, in the next two months or so. So it doesn't have to be someone you know at this very stinking moment. It might be someone who comes in. And uh, with that being said, I wish you all the very, very best. Thank you so much again for the birthday gifts. All these decks pretty much were given to me, except for this one right here, were given to me for my birthday. And so I really appreciated uh, those of you that were on my wish list. You guys are awesome. And I already said thank you in my community post, but you know, once again, I thank you a lot. Um, you guys made my birthday all the more happier. Thank you. And thank you for those of you that leave comments and are so supportive as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you guys will be around for the next video. Okay. So take care and lots of love. Bye-bye.